everybody, Lisa Walker here. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I normally do. Not like fruit salad is hard or, um, you know, rocket science in any way, shape, or form. But this time of year, there are just so many different kinds of fruits that, um, that we have available that taste really yummy. And um, what I'm super excited about actually is the fact that um, I'll cut up a ton of it. Like here's my bowl. So I have fresh blackberries in here from my mom and dad's garden. Um, I had some grapes I was wanting to get rid of. And before you keto police people start yelling at me about fruits not being keto except for berries. Yeah, I know the drill. But I still think that... Um, it's a healthy alternative. So um, if, if you're gonna have, let's, let's put it this way. If you're somebody who likes to have a, a sweet treat at night, whether that be a bowl of cereal, which used to be my go-to, I used to love cereal. Um, or I don't know what it is about barbecue, but when Kevin would barbecue, um, you know, I, a little bowl of ice cream always sounded so good afterwards. And yes, I have some keto ice cream, but um, I still think fruits and vegetables are the way to go, whether they're, you know, quote unquote, keto friendly or not. And I've said a thousand times that I'm doing um, lazy keto. So for me, I feel like, um, you know, yeah, I might be moving along like a turtle with my my weight loss, but it's it's a progress that I've actually been able to maintain for once in my freaking life. Hi, Steph. <laughs> um, so my main thing is like, you don't have to have, you know, a specific mix of fruits and whatnot. Like I need to get rid of these grapes, so I'm throwing them in there. Obviously, even though cherries are yummy and in season, that's a pain because of the pits. <laughs> Trying to deal with that. But I'm throwing in, like, I bought some nectarines, I have strawberries, I, um, I have some plums I need to get rid of, and then what I personally like to do, now of course if you have any kind of allergies you might not be able to do this, but um, because one of the things with keto is protein, what I like to do is add in some walnuts, and I just buy the the pre-chopped ones from from Aldi and I put those in there and then um, I like to add I like to add my nourish because it's a it's a superfood and it kind of adds an extra kick of um, the good stuff so it has like your veggies and and whatnot included and you can't even taste it, it almost actually kind of it's kind of sweet, which surprises me. So it goes great with the with the fruit salad, and it's just a another way to to hide some good for you stuff in um, in what you're already eating, rather than like mixing it into a shake or whatever. And this is what I was super excited about because Kevin is not the healthiest of eaters. I'm sure y'all have heard me say he takes all my healthy foods and and makes them unhealthy <laughs> all the time. I mean, it's healthier for him compared to the way he used to eat, but it's still, he, I'm like, you're destroying my healthy meals, dude. What you doing to me? But luckily he's just doing it to his own food and not mine. So, um, so anyway, he has been eating a bowl of fruit every night. As I gave him trouble the other day, he goes, I'm gonna make myself some fruit salad. And I said, oh, are you? You're gonna make it? Because I'm pretty sure I made it. You're gonna put it into a bowl. You're going to scoop it out. But if you'd like to call that making it, <laughs> uh, go ahead. But you know you're full of crepola because you didn't make diddly <laughs> squat. He likes to uh, partake in all of the, the eating, but not necessarily the making. So, um, and I have to tell you, like these plums, they're a little, they're a little soft, but once they're in the fruit salad, um, you can't tell. I just, I when I go to Aldi, sometimes it's like I forget that it's just Kevin and I now. So we don't go through the, the food quite as fast. 
And that's the only downside to me as far as, um, you know, buying the fresh produce because you have to eat it within a certain amount of time or you might as well have just, you know, taken your money and, and thrown it out the window. So I like to try to do it like this because then it's going to be eaten a little bit faster if it's cut up into a um, fruit salad. So I need to go through these plums and at least get to the ones that feel like they need to go into the salad rather than trying to eat them plain. But, and I have bananas and things like that. And I know sometimes they'll say to add some lemon juice so that your, um, your produce doesn't turn um, brown. But quite honestly, once it's in the salad, you can't tell because the berries and the juices all start to kind of run together. And um, they kind of, it all just kind of gets syrupy in there for lack of a better word. And it's almost like its own dressing. Alex likes to call it a dressing because he asked, I said, oh, I'm having fruit salad for, um, as a side dish with the dinner. And he's like, well, do you have a dressing? And I'm like, a dressing? No, I don't need a dressing for fruit salad and then when he tried it he's like oh this is good I guess you really don't need a dressing and I don't know if he meant like when you cut up fruit at a party you know and you've got the the dip or whatever if that's what he was talking about but um but yeah he he tried it and he liked it but he's always eating pretty healthy he's got um good sense when it comes to that and doesn't need a lot of what I call crapola so, um, so that's good. Yeah, these plums really were in dire straits. They needed to be cut up and put in here. Um, and I was going to do pineapple. They had pineapples for like, I don't know, $1.69. But I was like, oh, I know I need to get rid of my plums. And um, when I made it last time with plums and nectarines, it turned out really good. So, you know, as you can see, it's 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 coming along here, but um, and then here I'll throw in my throw in my walnuts. Let me use my hands here. Whoops, got laundry going. And I don't have my 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 handy dandy towel here. And then, like I said, this nourish it comes with its own scooper, which is awesome. Scoopy doopy. What does it say on here anyway? I can't even read. One scoop for smoothies and whatever. So since I'm making a big old bowl here, I'll put a few scoops in. And then, I mean, like I said, this isn't rocket science as far as like, you know, fruit salad is fruit salad. It doesn't have to be fancy. I just like to add the walnuts. And what I'll do, just because I don't want to make another dish, I'll put the lid on and just give it a good shake 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 and then obviously I haven't added I've still got strawberries and nectarines and stuff to add in there but that's how I do my fruit salad so basically what I'm saying is is whatever you have in your house or if there's special fruits that you like turn it into a fruit salad you'd be surprised at how fast you'll go through it if you guys have issues like me as far as like trying to get through it in time before it gets icky. So um, that was it. I don't know if I'll add bananas in this time because I really like my bananas in a smoothie. I use like, um, I add unsweetened cocoa uh, and then I do sometimes like that, what is it, PB something. It's some kind of a protein powder that's peanut butter. So, um, I can't think of the name of it. But anyways, that's that on that. So just wanted to show you how to make a real quick fruit salad and I can actually sneak in some, some extra good stuff for Kevin who likes to um, eat not so great. <laughs> all right, I hope everybody has a great day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.